here we go again our weekly budget by paycheck we are budgeting out our last paycheck for october this paycheck will basically lead us into november so november's budget stay tuned we'll be posting that here in the next day or two as well but november's budget basically starts with the first paycheck of november so this last paycheck of october was for october 30th and we get paid every friday so we do a budget every single friday so if you want you can join me every week and see how we allocate our money out we follow a zero based budget or an every dollar budget and i use an excel sheet that i created over the years you can purchase it on etsy if you want to use it as well so let's jump on the excel sheet and get to it so here we are the last week of october i can't believe it's already it's almost the end of the year 2020 uh yeah we could say 2020 we're excited for that for this year to be over right uh so to start off when i do my budget i basically update what we actually received on our pay stubs and what taxes were taken out and then I update the budget based on either spending that we've already spent on our credit card and we need to make sure we're paying off the balance in full or if it's something maybe I forgot about or something that came up and we want to make adjustments there so we do have a little bit of that if you watch all of the other videos for the month I've pretty much every week we're making changes to the bu the budget so I want you guys to realize that these are not written in stone the budget is supposed to be a working budget a working document that you can adjust and change as things change as well you should have a brand new one every single month because every month is different I like to not only do the month but I do every paycheck which for us is every week and again because every week or every paycheck could be different as well. So the first thing is his base pay was the 880. So I'm gonna start color coding this. We're gonna start closing out our budget for the month. All right, so Ricky didn't have any overtime for this week. And then my pay was actually uh, 269.57. It's a little bit higher than I anticipated. Make that black because that's what it was. And then you can also see here we had our interest for our savings accounts was paid so six dollars and eleven cents i originally thought it was, i think i budgeted seven so it's a little bit less than we anticipated so overall for the month we anticipated originally six thousand four hundred and eighty five we did receive that health care bonus or that wellness bonus from ricky's work for 500 um, so that helped out as well ricky did have more overtime than we anticipated my income was a little less than anticipated uh, but everything kind of equaled out where all in all we still had more money than we originally thought so we had 8,273 for the month and then for the rest of this for the rest of this paycheck here we come on down paying ourselves first we have eight percent of Ricky's income goes automatically into his 401k and four percent of my income automatically goes into my Roth 401k so Ricky's was um, the 740 and I make this blue because that just tells me that the money was invested it wasn't like spent and gone but it is something that's for our future again we're going to close out the month here so for the month we we're actually able to put 546 dollars into ricky's 401k instead of the 394 so that was good myself was a little bit less um this actually ended up being ten dollars and forty cents and overall we started i just started this 401k so I have $42.72. $42 is what I added into my 401k and the reason I'm only doing 4% is that Amazon matches half of that um, only up to 4% so basically they will match a total of 2% um, so I'm just putting it at that minimum because we're going to be focusing on just trying to pay off some debt. Also Ricky's 401k is pretty much covering what we need to be investing for us to reach our retirement goals um, so we're not really adjusting anything there for now basically you can see how the month we originally budgeted hundred dollars for gifts we were going to put that in our savings for Christmas our Christmas fund which we actually did but we also spent additional money um, giving as well so we actually spent 341 or we saved a hundred and we spent 241 and then out of this paycheck, Ricky did have the $5 that automatically gets donated. There's two different charities that they were donating to directly out of his paycheck. So for the month, $25 for him. And now coming down are our necessities. So we do include our taxes in our necessities. 
Um, I mentioned this almost in every video, we like to keep track of that just so we know that we're paying the proper amount of taxes now. So we're not going to get a huge refund, uh, we're, but we're also not going to owe money at the end of the year. So kind of just keeping track of it. Plus, um, there is another budgeting method out there that talks about including your taxes as part of your necessities. I think it's the 60% rule, possibly something like that. But anyway, so our um, the federal was actually zero. Arizona was twenty twenty seven. Medicare was fifteen thirty nine. Social Security was sixty five. 83 and the rest of these um, were as is so basically our family life insurance is 559 a paycheck Ricky's long-term disability is based on his income so it was 317 this check and then our health insurance for the family is 8780 every paycheck so this fluctuates based on um, you know whether we have three page or whether we have a four paycheck month or a five paycheck month so October was a five paycheck month I'm gonna make those black because that's that that's ending out our budget and those this is money that is gone we will not see it it's gone unless we get a tax refund <laughs> and then coming down is um, our mortgage so I actually want to make this black because I am filming this on the second so this has actually already come out I've transferred that and we've already officially paid our mortgage payment the home maintenance um i actually we originally were going to use the health um wellness bonus can't talk right now we we're going to use the health wellness bonus um to purchase one of the storage units for the garage we ended up doing ricky ended up doing all of the irrigation for the backyard for all of our tropical trees in our garden so we actually ended up using um instead of him having this money down here it was actually only that and then this was um, 400 instead. And then we also used some out of this paycheck. So I needed to update that. So 2338. And again, I'm going to make these black because that was money that was already spent. Our groceries. We went over, we originally had 135 for last week. We actually ended up, I needed to add to that. So I'm actually, this is coming out of this paycheck. So we need to do um, the 200 plus 93.95. So 293.95. So I'm gonna make this one black cause that's, that was spent. And now this one is orange because this is what's currently in the bank account to cover groceries for the rest of this week. Let me see if I need to add anything else on here. Oh, donations actually. I do need to add $60 onto donations. So this is 65. So Arcadia, my oldest, is doing cross country at her school. And um, we basically had to pay $60 for the like sports fee, but it's also considered a write-off for, it's considered a donation and it's considered a write-off for Arizona state taxes. So that was $65 on there. The electric and all that I've moved out of savings. So we were roughly about a month ahead on some of these bills. So all of these bills that you see here are now things that are going to be coming due in November. So what we did was once I had the money in the account, I put it in savings until the week it was due. So these, these things I went ahead and pulled out of savings, um, like the car and the truck. So I'm going to make this orange now because these are actually sitting in our necessities checking account, just waiting for that automatic withdrawal to come out. So this again keeps a visual for me knowing that's what that is. And same thing, the insurance for the car and the truck, um, that is ready to come out as well. So we still have a little bit of gas money left, left from last week and now we have 80 added on. So we're gonna leave that as is. Now the girls helped Ricky in the backyard doing the um, irrigation. So they earned, Arcadia earned $30 and Elsa earned 10, but they've already spent it. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and uh, end out these for them. This actually Ricky's was spent now. So we're gonna make that black. Um, this I'm gonna make orange. So I've already scheduled for the extra principal payment on the mortgage, which is we're doing Right now we're just doing $200 minimum 
as an extra principal towards the mortgage. We will continue that for the next, um, probably next two years or so, little, hopefully a little less than two years, while we focus on paying off the car and the truck, and then we'll be putting the car and truck payment towards the mortgage. And then what we have here is the eating out. Actually, we have 63.35. And I'm gonna make that black because this was already spent. And then that, you can see here I have negative $246. So we weren't able to put the 557 towards vacation. Actually ends up being 311.15. So we do have a trip next month in November. It's just a weekend to California. We're renting a Airbnb house with two of my girlfriends and all of their kids. Um, so basically this $842 is going towards that trip for November. Um, I've already paid my friend half of our portion of the rental and then I have the other half in the bank account ready to pay her. And then the rest of this will basically be covering um, gas and then food basic you know we're basically just gonna be hanging out at the beach in the house not really doing anything um, we might go to the sea life aquarium but otherwise you know pretty much just gas parking and food is all we really need to cover after our expenses there so you can see everything is zeroed out so now we've told everything where to go. We have an idea of where it's going for the end of the month. Oh, I do need to add in. I thought my numbers weren't adding up here. Um, we're actually adding up and giving as well another $50. Ricky's coworker had a housewarming. So we got, we just gave him a $50 gift card for that. So I'll mark that. And then really we only have 261 that went into our vacation saving or vacation for for next month now this also um this money is moved out it's ready to be paid and then the netflix has been paid so we're going to go ahead and make this black now because that's gone so it's kind of what i do at the end of the month just kind of seeing you know anything i need to change or update based on what was done Let's go ahead and scroll back up and we'll just see, we'll compare what we originally thought everything was going to be. So we left off here with the donations or the giving. So we originally thought $100 for giving, we did $391, 100 of that did go into savings. We thought $25 for donations that ended up being $85. Um, the taxes, I do the best to estimate these, I just kind of do a percent and I let the Excel sheet predict or calculate that percent automatically for me and then I go back and put in the actual amounts. So a little less for federal than we thought, I keep hitting these buttons, a little less for federal than we thought, um, more for Arizona State, more for Medicare, more for Social Security and again that's because we made more money so obviously you pay more taxes uh, and then everything else, a little bit more for long-term disability than I anticipated again because he made more money um, but that was the health care all that was the same there now we didn't budget anything for the home maintenance we already knew like i mentioned that if we got the health that wellness bonus it was going to go some of it towards um home projects or improvements um so we did spend the 423 we did spend 423 on that groceries we budgeted a thousand as of right now, we're ending at 9.55, so we we're able to come in under budget for groceries. However, I mentioned that we are gonna use that grocery budget as our full meal budget or our full food budget. So if we ate out, it was supposed to come out of that budget as well. And you're gonna see, we actually still ate out. So let me get my calculator out here. So we spent 9.55.90, and we'll see how much we ate out here in a minute. Personal care, we didn't budget anything. We spent five. Household, we didn't budget anything. We spent 118. Um, Ricky's phone is what it is. The electric we budgeted 181 ended up being 158, so that was less than we anticipated, which it was good. Everything else was what it is. That's the set amount every month for the most part. Uh, and then the gas, we budgeted 400, and we only spent, um, we're anticipated to spend 372. Again, we still have a week left. Um, so we'll see what ends up being there. Insurance is what it is. Maintenance, we didn't budget anything. We spent $32.55. The girls, we originally didn't budget anything for them to earn any money, but they did. 
Um, they ended up helping out this month and earning some money. And then again, Ricky, the $100 was from that wellness, um, the portion of the wellness bonus that he earned. And then the extra principal, we budgeted 200. That's what we're pretty much committed to. So you can see here, we still spent $193. 193 93 so we still spent we spent $1,149 on food <laughs> that's insane so we're actually we spent about $230 a week um, on that now I do have a home I have the home shelf subscription and I did have several weeks where instead of doing three meals I did four or even five meals off of there so that increased our grocery budget a little bit and um, if you can see here, our pattern is we're pretty much spending about 65 bucks a week um, eating out. And in reality, it's usually, I would say, at least two days a week where I'm just like, hey, pick up fast food. You know what I mean? So if we can see that pattern, we can plan for it better in the future. So maybe we'll, we'll try to plan for that better uh, moving forward in the next coming budget. We'll see. Um, events, we budgeted 100 This was supposed to be just towards like Halloween stuff. We ended up spending 206 um, and that's because we did um, Halloween, we did a little bit of decorations, costumes for the girls. We actually ended up also doing, taking them to a pumpkin patch and doing lunch with my friend. And then we went um, to laser tag. So there were some things that we ended up putting in that we weren't planning. And then Ricky and I also spent $51 towards just time for us that we didn't originally budget for. Um, PlayStation, so I had another viewer mention that um, you can purchase a year subscription for the PlayStation Plus. So I looked into that. So you're going to see that in November. We're going to go ahead and just do the year, which is actually going to basically save us like $70 and it's going to cut what we were paying in half. Um, and so I'm glad. Thank you to that viewer who mentioned that they have yearly subscriptions. Now, I wish Netflix had a yearly subscription at a discount because then I would totally do that as well. And then, like I mentioned, um, for savings or for vacation, for November's vacation, we were to put $792 towards that. So, all in all, a pretty decent month. Um, spent more than we anticipated, but again, we invested more and we gave more. Yeah, so I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments below. How did your October go? Did you have an extra paycheck like we did? Uh, let us know what some of your wins were or maybe something that you didn't do so great at. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.